I'm doing this to test the effectiveness of land-based shark fishing as a research and tagging method. Um, we're out in Scopset, part of Nantucket, uh, right now, and this is a huge nursery and um, spot for large adult um, brown sharks, also referred to as sandbar sharks. And uh, they average, you know, six to eight feet, and they're huge, and they're all females. And I'm almost positive they're, you know, they're coming here to have have their pups. Um, really exciting way to promote conservation, get people out on the beach and learning about sharks and seeing one up close on top of it being an extremely exciting way to recreational fish. And they're probably the biggest thing you can catch on spinning gear from the beach. I thoroughly enjoy it. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's a very fun activity and I enjoy it. It's their ocean. They've been there for 400 million years. There's 500 species of sharks. We're intruders in their territory. And to get upset about it, it's unreasonable. It's, it's every sport has its risks. You know, if you get bit, you know, swimming or surfing, I mean, you're in their domain. What we can do is learn more about them, research them, find out when they'll be where, maybe calculate when we're swimming with their migrations and lessen our chances of getting bit if it comes down to that. It's not anything more than just sharks are following comfortable water temperatures, food, and migration. They're moving around. They're having their pups and reproducing. This is my thing. I really enjoy it. I feel comfortable doing it. It's the most extreme form of fishing, in my opinion, and hey, it's great. People enjoy coming out and doing it and watching, and hopefully we can learn something that results in the safety of these sharks and the long-term comeback of these species that have been almost fished to extinction.